Wolves Community TV presents Hockey Talk with the Olds Grizzlies. Hockey Talk with the Olds Grizzlies is sponsored by Bogmer CIR Realty and Olds. Guesting with us now is uh, Shane Dixon, the uh, second year president of the Olds Grizzlies yeah. and a uh, member of the board for a few years. Uh, tell me about the off season. Oh, you know what? It was kind of an exciting off season. We uh, made a lot of changes to the team. We made a lot of changes to the environment, the culture of the team. Dana and his staff did a phenomenal job getting uh, the dressing room uh, renovated for the boys and, and just making some improvements down there for them and uh, getting ready for the season to start. So what are you expecting for this season? I'm expecting us to win lots. Uh, we have a really young team. They're fast. They're eager. Uh, every one of them wants to be here. They want to play hard. And they're, uh, they're proving to their coach that they want to be here. Okay, from uh, your, you also are a billet. Yes. How many, how many players are you hosting this year? I have two this year. I have Austin Pickford and Nick Sutter. So how are they, those kids been? Oh, they're awesome. They fit right into my house like... It's like they've lived there their whole lives. They're awesome kids. They're, they help out. Uh, they, they beat on my kids and have fun with them, and it, that's what it's about. Big brothers, little, you know, big brothers, and uh, treat the kids like they, uh, they're part of the family. Uh, young Sutter, uh, he helped us out at the Qantas uh, um, concession booth last weekend. Yeah. And he and the rest of the fellows were with him. They did an excellent job. You guys must be complimented on, on the, the quality of some of these young men in terms of their community service. Well, thanks, Hugh. That, that means a lot, you know, because that, that's part of the, what we're trying to do differently with the team this year, right? We want the boys out in the public. We want them visible. We want them, you know, uh, being active with, with other groups. And, and it shows our, our uh, the people of the olds that, that this team is here for four olds. We want to win four olds. We want to play for olds and, uh, and make it good. And, yeah, you know what? I had lots of compliments from lots of people about the boys and the way they conducted themselves and carried themselves. Well, they were a credit to the organization last Saturday, uh, last Saturday in the Quantasize, I can tell you that. Perfect. So uh, let's talk about th this team, um, you know, as in most Junior A small uh, franchises uh, in smaller centers, there's always the financial point of view, and that's one of the kind of clouds that hangs over the administration. Where are you at now? Um, you know, we're making we're making good progress on the debt with the team. Uh, you know, we're still we're promoting the the friends of the Grizzlies wall. Uh, you know, a thousand dollars buys a plaque on there. It's a one time thing. We're hoping to sell a hundred of those plaques. Um, I'm not sure the exact number we're at. I think twenty two or twenty three now. Um, we're hoping to fill that wall up, and and now all that money is solely earmarked for debt reduction. It is not going into day to day operations money. It's it's going into a special account just to take care of that. Uh, our major raffle is doing really well. Uh, I don't. We don't have exact numbers on that either. We just did a cash call to try to get everybody to bring their tickets back, so we don't know kind of roughly where we stand. But uh, on December 21st, we're giving away well over thirty thousand dollars that night uh, as our major raffle. First prize is fifteen thousand dollars. You know who who doesn't want to win fifteen thousand dollars just before Christmas? Well, your super salesman Merle Goddard was around to our office, yeah. so he nabbed a few of us. <laughs> You're all perfect. You know what? He the man is phenomenal. I don't know if he just hounds people till they give him money and he leaves or if he's just got the knack of being a good salesman, but it's phenomenal for us. He helps us out a lot. And, uh, you know, we've, we're, we've got a promotion going with the boys, kind of a little competition down in the room for them to sell some tickets. And if they do, they'll, win a, they'll have a reward in their room if they uh, can do what, what we've asked them to do. And, you know, the parents are going to help us out and, and us as board members and people in town, we're just going to try to sell that out. And, uh, you know, all that just helps, right? Uh, it's always tough, uh, especially coming off the off season. There's not a lot of money in the bank. We need revenue from gate, like people coming to games and uh, taking part in the 50-50 and you know buying tickets and stuff. And uh, we're doing our best to make it better. Speaking of 50-50, the uh, the instant uh, you know tabulation it has got to help the 50-50 sales. Oh, it's huge. You know, we uh, we we were well over budget on 50-50 last season, thanks to Cam Clark Ford for sponsoring that and uh, you know giving us that opportunity to have that extra bit of entertainment value at our games and it. Uh, it, it sells itself you know people see that, that that number getting big and it's like oh geez maybe I should buy another ticket you know so that's kind of what we were gunning for with that and it's working you know we've had some pretty big pots up around three thousand dollars you know in, in close to playoffs and stuff and you know that's a pretty good windfall to take home at the end of a hockey game well good luck in the rest of your fund uh, raising efforts as well as uh, the team this year thank you very much you and I'm just you know looking first to looking forward to the boys winning some hockey games thanks Shane thank you
Watch Olds Community TV on channel 148 on the ONET IPTV network or catch us on the web at www.octv.ca.